post the colors and we'll have the salute to the colors. Color guard. And salute. Silence for our departed shipmates. Lord God above, commander of the deep, look down upon this distinguished group of servicemen. Bless the submariners, their families, and all those who prowl the deep. Lord, each year we look a little grayer and our ranks may thin, but keep a light in us, our memories of our shipmates and those on eternal patrol. Help us to spread the word of valor of our shipmates and never let Americans forget our contribution to this great free land, the United States of America. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for your great love for us, for blessing us as we live fearlessly, claiming our rights to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. I lift this all in the name of your wonderful Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Harry's going to put a flower in for the pre-war boats. The World War II boats is going to be is going to be placed in the water by two members of the World War II. Hank Dorowski was on the Tang and a member of the Basil Pierce chapter. Ernie, we're going to remember Elton Brubaker lost on the flyer. His brother's going to place a flower on the water. We're going to remember Basil Pierce off the tang. His niece, Linda, is going to place a flower on the water. Post-war boats, J.R. Morrow, base commander, USS Florida base, is going to place a flower on the water. It's been special to him because he was a line handler when the Thresher departed on their eternal patrol. We have one more person placing flowers on the water. He's going to do it for the three guys that was in the Pentagon. Three submariners who was lost in the Pentagon. He's also going to do it for Admiral Flucky, who just recently passed away. And he's going to do it for an associate member of our base, USS Florida base, Ellie Good, who followed her uh, husband Sanchez on eternal patrol within nine months of Sanchez departing. <laughs> 